Okay, welcome to this video, and in this video series, hopefully short series, uh, I'm going to show you how to create a newsletter system for your sites, um, and how we're going to code it is we're going to use, use a MySQL database to store uh, the information, the email information that people sign up with uh, for your newsletter. So I've got an index page right here just opened up, it's just, it just has PHP tags, that's it. So let's get started. So I'm just going to start off with an echo statement and echo a title. And I'm just going to say newsletter. And just refresh my page. Now we have a title. Go ahead and open up a PHP My Admin 2. And log in. And we're going to go ahead and set up our database first because. Essentially, that's what this entire thing runs off of, just uh, two or three forms and a database. So, as soon as this decides to load, there we go. So, it's roots and then password. <clears throat> so, I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, and I'm just going to throw in PHP tags. And I'm going to go ahead and save it out. And I'm just going to call the file connect as soon as it pops up. My computer's going really slow. Oh, that is horrible. Alright, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to call it connect. And there's no M in connect. So connect.php. And hang on, I'm just going to rename it. Because I typed in PHP wrong. There we go. Okay, so it's called connect.php. And I'm just going to open it up. Sorry, I have a dual monitor set up, so. Okay, so we have our connect, and I'm just going to go ahead and start our connect. So MySQL. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to sort in variables. So MySQL underscore connect. And so the first one is our server name. First parameter is our server name. So mine is localhost, and if you're running this off of your localhost or off of your computer, um, you won't be able to use the email function. Likely, uh, you likely won't be able to use the email function that PHP has because uh, li uh, because uh, when PHP is installed and MySQL and everything like that is installed on your computer, uh, you don't have any uh, SMTP information sets so that you don't have any of your email information set uh, so you won't be able to use it but if you have this on a live server then it'll work fine um, <coughs> uh, so the next parameter is our username which is root and the last one is our password which is password and then we're going to mysql underscore select underscore db and our database I'm just going to call newsletter or eh, I'm just going to call it tutorials. Tutorials. And. Okay. Um, so, really, we can just close our connect file. We won't need it again. So, if I go to my tutorials database, <coughs> and. There we go. I'm just going to create a new table as soon as this loads. So I'm going to call the new table newsletter. There we go. And the number of fields. We're only going to have two fields. We're going to have an ID and we're going to have an email. So that's pretty much it. So we're just going to have these two fields. Now if you wanted, you could have a name and various information about the people that sign up for your newsletter. But that's entirely up to you. Email uh, will be a varchar of 250. Our ID will be a big int. You want to set your ID to a big int because your emails, your newsletter list could get very long. So you want to have it set as a, uh, a big int. And we want to set it to an index primary and an auto increment. And then we can just click save. <coughs> So as soon as this loads up, whoops, there's someone dropping something upstairs. Okay, so we have our 
uh, newsletter table created. So now, if we go back to our index page, what we want to do is the first thing what we want to do is to make this a little bit more secure, we're going to create sort of a mini login system, but the login system is only going to work for this page, so you'll have a, uh, a username and password stored in variables, and then we will compare those variables. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create this username, the uh, variable, so username equals, and I'm just going to call mine basic nick. And password equals, I'm just going to say password for now. Okay, so, uh, actually we're not going to do that. I'm just going to get to the form. If you wanted, it's just, it's very simple. Just create a nice little login system. Or if you have a login system for your site, anything, you can make it as secure as you want. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create a form variable. And inside of our form, we're going to create a form. We're going to say action equals, and the action is just going to be index.php. So it's going to be a self-submitting form to, for our newsletter. Our method we want to put as a post. So method as a post, and then end the form. And then we'll set a table. Just to make it look a little bit neater. And we'll have a TR, TR, and a TD. So we're going to have some rows and columns, obviously. So in our first one here, we're going to have, um, we're going to say webmaster. So we're going to have a nice little field that you'll be able to enter your email in for whatever email you want to send. Um, send your newsletter from so it makes it kind of dynamic I guess uh, and then right here we're gonna have an input type equals text I spelled that wrong in put type equals text and our name is going to be webmaster and um, if you want you can set a value and then whatever email you want the default email to be. So I guess I'll just set mine to basic.nick at gmail.com. And I'm getting a text. So if I just uh, come down here and echo the form. So if we refresh, we have, ooh, syntax error, line 12. 12. Uh... Ah, uh, that's say form equals. There we go. <coughs> so we have a webmaster, and then just a nice little text box, and I spelled value wrong. Making all kinds of mistakes here. I'm sorry. So we have a default email set. So the next thing we just want to copy and paste the entire, uh, oops, all of that, and we're going to change this to subject. We're going to change the name to subject. And we're going to change the value to nothing. Uh, and if you want, you can get rid of this entire value right there, but that's up to you. And the last one we're going to say as message. And we're going to get rid of all of this input text box. And we're going to put a text area. So text area, there's no space. And then we're going to go ahead and end the text area. Okay, so we're going to set the name of the text area to message, I suppose. And we're going to set the calls to, uh, I'm going to go with 40. And I'm going to set the rows to, I'm going to go with 6. And we s refresh, we have our form for the most part. And to finish off the form, we want to put our submit button. <coughs> Name is uh, send button. And the value will be send. 
Okay, so I'm going to stop this video here. In part two, we will continue on with the series.